So we're going to the VNSA book sale like we do every year. It's in a different building this time. Let's go a little this way. Um, it used to be in the building that's over there, but we're in this one this time, so that's very interesting. But today is Sunday, and so everything is half off, which is why we usually come today and not yesterday. So let's go in and see. Next year is February 8th. Well, it's, it's usually around that weekend. Okay, holding it? You're not even looking anything for yourself, huh? See, the thing is, I have this one already at home, but mine is actually not in as good a quality. I feel like I might, it's a dollar, I might have to just get it anyway and replace it. <laughs> So 
So in order to wrap up this video, I did want to just sort of go through and give a short haul, I guess, of the books that I did buy at the VNSA Book Fair this year. Um, we always go on a Sunday because that is the half off day. So all of the mass market paperbacks that I have here were normally priced at $2, which means I got them all for one. And then I have one other book that I bought that was priced at $1 and I got for 50 cents. So I actually have 15 books here that I purchased for $14.50 total, not including the like $8 of parking to actually get in there as well. But I mean, overall, really, really good prices and I'm super excited about basically all of these. So one of the main reasons that I end up going to the VNSA book sale is that they have a lot of like older books. The sections that I usually end up buying for myself are from the mass market sci-fi fantasy area. They do have some sometimes in like hardcover or trade paperbacks, but I almost always end up in the mass market section and this is one of the reasons I collect a lot of the old Star Trek pocket book ones. I think they're all from pocket books. And I found six this year. The Great Starship Race by Diane Carey. This is number 67. Doctor's Orders by Diane Duane. And this is number 50. Memory Prime by Gar and Judith Reeves Stevens. And this one is number 42. This is actually one that I already have in my collection, but this version of the book is slightly nicer and it was only a dollar, so I picked it up as well. Faces of Fire by Michael Jan Friedman. This one is number 58. From the Depths by Victor Milan. And this is number 66. And then also The Starship Trap by Mel Gildon. And this one is number 64. So these were basically purchased to go in my collection. I haven't actually read a Star Trek book in probably at least a year or two. And so it's been a great long while. I do find some of these books a little bit cheesy. I have some that I prefer over others. It depends on the characters in them and sometimes even who's writing them, but I still like to have them. <laughs> then the next thing that I purchased are actually the first two books in a series. Um, we have Unshapely Things and Unquiet Dreams. These are both by Mark Del Franco. I actually don't know which one is number one and number two off the top of my head. This is a series that I don't know much about. Um, one thing about the VNSA book sale is that everything is just sort of thrown together. They are roughly categorized by genre, but besides that, it's just all thrown in there. So I'm very happy if I find anything that is like the first in a series, especially one that like draws me in. First, the first thing I will usually do is see if the cover intrigues me, then I will double check the summary, and then I will go on Goodreads, make sure it is the first in the series if I haven't started it already. Um, and so this one apparently is about some things that are known as weird. So there's like fairies, um, some, some of them are coming up dead, there's crime scenes, it looks like some of the fae are police. Um, and our main character is a druid. So it has some elements that I really do enjoy and I have the first two now for $2. The next book that I ended up picking up is Touched by an Alien by Jenny Cock. This is the first in a series that has actually been on my radar for a while but I have never actually picked it up. I see this series in my bookstore quite often and so for a dollar I obviously had to pick it up. I don't know much about it but I do know that there is aliens in here. I think again there is some sort of investigative detective element and I believe there is romance as well. Then I picked up another first in a series. This is Wormhole by Jay Castleberg. Again, not too sure what this is about. It was in the sci-fi fantasy section. It looked fairly intriguing. This is not one that I had heard of before like Touched by an Alien, um, but I did pick it up. Now one of the books that was actually very exciting and I don't think we got it on camera, but when I saw this one, which is was just a spine in a box, I literally went, oh! and there was a guy across from me who was looking at books on the other side of the table and just sort of started giggling because I was so excited to find this book here. This is the second book in the Time Odyssey series by Arthur C. Clarke and Stephen Baxter. I owned the first book of this, Time's Eye, and I read it like back in high school, I want to say. Really enjoyed it. Told my husband he should read it, I don't think he really has yet, but it's almost impossible to find this second one out in the wild. And this is like a pristine copy, 
there are no dents or bangs or like breaking in his spine and so I'm super excited to have this. Um, I don't know what this one is necessarily about but Time's Eye was a sort of sci-fi in space type of thing but there was also time travel involved. It was a very huge complicated plot that I don't remember much of anymore which means it's gonna be time for a reread before I pick up this one. Then I picked up The Better Part of Darkness by Kelly Gay. This is again another one that just sort of sounded really good. It is the first in a series. I don't know much about it. Again, I, it looks like there's cops and weird paranormal things going on. And so apparently that was mostly what I picked up this time. Then I also picked up Unclean Spirits. This is by MLN Hanover. Again, first book in a series. Don't really know what this one's about. I don't believe this one has any cop detective type things going on with it. This one does seem more like there's demons and there's some sort of invis invisible college that helps wizards become trained. So this one has a little bit more of the magic touch um, that I'm also interested in and the cover was very intriguing. And then the final mass market book that I picked up was Dead to Me by Anton Strout. This is another book that I actually did have on my Goodreads list. It's the first in the series. Another paranormal investigator. I don't know much else about it. This is also the only book that had any sort of damage to the spine. So I got entirely lucky with my purchases this time and I am just super excited. And then the final book that I picked up, this is the one that was labeled as $1 so I got it for 50 cents, is just a super cute book for kids. Um, it is in Chinese so it's not something that I can read but my husband can and these are like Chinese fables. So these are going to be stories that were from China and we can read them to the kids. There's very interesting drawings in here. Again, none of these are fairy tales that we would actually know here really. Um, but for 50 cents, I had to pick it up for our child who is going to be born later this year. If you guys have not seen our announcement of our pregnancy, I will link that down below. But we had to pick this up. Part of the reason this video is going up a little bit later than I normally would put this up is the fact that we had this in our clips and I'm talking about it now and my husband declared that I had to post the reveal video before I talked about any of my book haul from VNSA. So, this was the last book that we purchased. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up to let me know. Leave me a comment down below letting me know if you've read any of the books that I purchased this time. I am very curious to see some of your guys' opinions, especially on the whole bunch of like paranormal investigator type of books that I purchased. Subscribe to this channel if you would like to see more videos. I do have videos up Mondays and Thursdays. So I will see you then. Bye!